Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review on Song Pop Party, an Apple Arcade exclusive. This is the update to the Song Pop Party that was for Apple TV. It was taken out of the App Store, and now it's exclusively within Apple Arcade, so you need an Apple Arcade subscription to be able to play this game. So first things first, we're going to go through a couple of the items here at the top of the screen. So you want to use your keys to buy new characters and playlists. So keys are your currency for this game. The playlist you have unlocked so far is the next uh, item. And again, I need to earn keys to unlock playlists. And then 11 characters is what I've unlocked thus far as well. We're going to go to the uh, options widget, or the settings widget rather. Uh, we can play this game in multiple different languages. So English obviously, and then I'm going to go uh, kind of scroll through a couple of the other languages here just to give you an idea you have the option to save your data privacy you can collect your data or not collect it turn off the background music and uh, a few other things controllers if you need to set up your controllers all right so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to change my character so I usually like playing with Will, but um, what I'm going to do before I choose him, I'm just going to kind of show you the, the characters I have unlocked thus far, and some that I don't have uh, unlocked. But you can see here, um, it gives you the option to unlock your character uh, once you have the proper amount of keys. So I'm constantly uh, trying to collect keys and unlock uh, more characters. and. Um, there's some special characters down at the bottom there that can be unlocked, I guess, after a, an event. We have Mother's Day coming up, so that's going to be part of a special event, those characters. So I've chosen Will here, and we're going to start off with a solo um, match here, but uh, there's also Arena and Party, but we'll come back to those later. So uh, first thing you'll do here is you'll choose the genre or decade of music. So again, at the top, you'll see that uh, there is a Mother's Day event coming up, uh, but you can see the different genres and decades here, 60s, 2010, love, mixtape, top hits. I think that uh, hip hop and R&B are probably my favorite genres, but I try to play all the genres and decades kind of evenly as much as I can, especially if I'm playing arena mode or uh, solo. So once you choose the genre, they just give you a whole bunch of different options that you have to unlock uh, for the um, kind of subgenres of that genre. So this is 2000s, but you have hip hop in the 2000s, R&B in the 2000s, etc. So I've chosen hip hop uh, in the 2000s. And again, this is a solo game. I can adjust how difficult the uh, PC or the computer is. So if they're on hard, I get more points. If they're medium, I get a certain amount of points, half of that, and then if it's easy, I get no sort of extra XP points. And you need XP points to, to actually, um, you know, earn keys. So we got the game going here. Again, this is very similar, almost identical to the previous uh, Sampa Party on the Apple TV. You have to not only be correct, but also, um, you know, make sure that you are answering as fast as possible. What's nice here, as far as an update from the uh, prior song, song pop party that I reviewed on my channel, is it, it really breaks it down to you as far as the seconds that you answer in. So that's a really cool, neat update. So the point award system is a little bit more accurate. You know, you can get down to just a, you know, a few points difference, one point difference, as far as kind of the seconds and how they're broken down when you answer. So a lot more accurate, and I think that makes the game that much more fun. And this is a, just a great update to, you know, an already classic game. So I'm going through a quick match here with you guys. I think I made this one round. Just to show you guys an example. And a, a difference between the uh, prior version is this, the computer, the CPU, is just kind of robots. You know, so uh, when you chose the CPU, when, the, when you play with the CPU in the prior game, it was one of the characters, one of the main characters, but just as a computer. 
So they've kind of changed the changed that up a little bit, where it's actually kind of a uh, like a robot here, which I think is probably going to be an unlockable character, uh, kind of once they get further into the game. So that was just a one one round match on medium, and walked away with the W there, and I got XP points. And again, your XP points, you know, based on you know how difficult you set the computer at for um, for the match. I'm going back over here. You can play uh, clips of the uh, or snippets of, of the songs that were played throughout the round here, if you like when you're finished. So that shows you just a quick example of the of some of the solo play here. I'm gonna go back. And I think we're gonna do arena here next so arena allows you to interact with you know other people online so again anyone else who has a subscription to um, Apple Arcade uh, you know and has downloaded uh, this game and has been playing it you, you get to you know interact with them in real time and play a game against anyone who's been playing in the game center which is real fun and again, it makes the game that much more uh, difficult when you're playing against, you know, real people. So I've chosen a new genre and now I'm in the sort of, I guess, waiting room or the lobby, whatever you want to call it, uh, waiting for uh, players to populate for the game. And the players will populate and, you know, above their heads will show you what subgenre of the genre that, that you know that we've all chosen so if i have chosen let's say it's top hits in the 2000s you know everyone should be kind of within that genre but may have different subgenres. so yeah this is what teen pop is what the subgenre is for for the decade or genre of 2010. let's see if i can pull out another one here And again, this, this game has been fully updated. You'll see in a later in a later screen when I go to host the party that again, you know, from six, right now we're playing with four people within the arena. So arena is limited to four people. But when I go into host the party, you'll see that it's up to eight people that can play this game. In the prior version, it was six was the max. Uh, was the max I think it was, but this goes up to eight. And the only difference, or only thing that is, you know, takes some getting used to, is that this game can't just be played with your your iPhone. But, you know, you know, you can't open this up, host a party locally, and have everyone join with an iPhone if they're not, you know, if they're not subscribed to uh, you know the Apple Arcade so you do need an Apple Arcade uh, subscription to play this via iPhone so what you need to rely on more so with this game would be controllers so obviously your your Apple remote um, can work as a controller but also any other um, wireless controller that you may have uh, like the uh, I, I told you on this channel that I have the Steel Series Nimbus that was pretty much designed for the Apple TV but I've played this with uh, PlayStation DualShock controllers um, also the Xbox controller and I also think uh, Nintendo whatever their uh, wireless controller is called you know you can play with any one of those and, and it works that way so that, that's what makes it a little bit harder with um, a big party you know you need to make sure everyone has a controller so yeah this is this is um, this, this round is coming to an end here. So this was Arena, and I wound up uh, losing here. So, uh, and again, a lot of the Arena matches are close. You know, I was in fourth place, but you know, not by much there. And again, I'm gaining my XP and leveling up in different genres categories. And once you level up enough, you will uh, get keys uh, for each kind of level that you climb uh, within that genre. I'm going to show you guys Party. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is when you're hosting a party. So if you're hosting a party, uh, again, you can do it locally or, or a combination of locally and online because they have the room code there for the QR code. But, um, you know, I'm the host in this scenario, but I can have um, 
someone else join with another remote controller here. Once you have some, at least one other player join, you can adjust the round settings. You know, it's at one round, and then you can adjust it to three, five, and you can see the minutes go up. So if you're doing the five rounds, it goes up to 10 minutes, three rounds is seven, and one round will be three minutes. And again, you have a, a huge cast of characters here. A huge cast of characters, which you have an option for. I'm going to go to where it says join. And again, if you're joining a party, whether it's on your phone or even on your Apple TV, you know, obviously you just put the code in and you'd be good to go. So if we go back here, I'm just walking you guys back through some of the items. I'm going to see if I can go further into the character uh, development or not development, but the character options that you have. If you go ahead and click on a character that has a blank that hasn't been unlocked yet, if you click on them, it'll show you the name, a picture of that character, and you know how many keys you need to unlock them. So that can just kind of give you an idea of what the character looks like. You know, I do this well when, when I'm hosting to kind of see what character I'm unlocking before I unlock them. But that's pretty much my review on uh, on the game. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more game reviews. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.